Heyo! Hello and welcome to your weekly edition of Exchange Focus. We have a great upcoming show, including talk about media and its impact for flight and migration. We are going to talk to UN Special Advisor Willy Lemke, Radio Bohem journalist Ludwig Ebert and the great and famous movie director Dexter Ocheno. We are going to start with our correspondent Jule Stahlhut having an exciting talk to the media experts. Today we are talking to um, Willy Lemke and um, Ludwig Ebert. What impact does media have on the life of a politician? More and more the media becomes stronger, uh, especially in the last years, social media. They have a strong, very strong power. Uh, unfortunately, they are also misused for uh, yeah, not democratic ways of informing people because we know that there are many faked informations around uh, social media as well in the media. And uh, so politicians need the media and they sometimes are forced by the media or pushed by the media. Anyway, the more we can learn uh, about true stories, the better it is for the c communities in all the countries because um, we, ha we need transparency. So if you compare the political reality um, to how politics um, is shown in the media, um, what do you think about it? Yeah, it is very, very difficult to find really the truth about these stories. If you, for example, these days would look at the, the media in Turkey and would look into the media in Germany talking about what's now going on between Turkey and Germany, it is very, very difficult then to find a correct point of view. My personal point of view is I'm only absolute sure when I've seen it before with my own eyes and I've heard this story from eyewitnesses, but not from just the media. Uh, we are so strongly manipulated by different people who want to change our views. What kind of responsibility and what impact does the media um, have on the topic flight immigration? We have to try to be uh, eyewitness and to tell the truth. It is uh, not possible always to tell the truth because we don't even know the truth uh, after or behind uh, every single uh, story. But we have uh, to improve. And uh, we are a kind of, of judge. I think we are a kind of judge. Since two or three years, not longer, we, we discuss flight and uh, immigration very much in our offices. And that's, that's new. We haven't done it before because it was not a topic. But now it's very, very important. And we try to improve our work in this. You also um, talked about um, always trying to prove the information you get. So how does the media handle um, yeah, all the information they get, um, considering that society um, more and more wants to get informed very quickly about everything? see a very, very interesting um, development. I've seen it when the, the, the terrorist attacks in Paris happened. I was informed by, by Twitter quicker than with the official ID yeah. colleagues. This is a big challenge for the journalists mm -hmm. because how can they prove what they just have heard from these attacks in Paris. How can they prove it? How, how can they check it? We, we have to double check. We have to double check. That's very important because social media does not double check. Double check. This man has knowledge about media. But because it's about you guys, Jörn Stamm decided to go out to the streets and talk to you about the impact of media to flight and migration. So, it's Vox Pop time. Let's go. What impact does media have on flight and migration? Um, I think media is the fastest way to um, have to get the information from all over the world uh, how this situation is going on, and also like to 
inform the people who are on their flight or to migrate to um, get so new social contacts or to get to know their way. You are able to get more information about everything, so media can help you with everything to connect between countries, between people. Yeah. Media have uh, really, really a very, very big impact in um, flight and migration because uh, they are the one um, giving the direction, information about uh, that uh, phenomenon. And uh, well, um, one have to be very, very careful on what uh, information we, we, we take and we receive from, from media. It is destroying the refugees because some of them do not like being as in they don't like their privacy to be open they just want their privacy to be kept on them but not to be shared among other people um, really a little problem to get some information because i feel uh, manipulated from the media at, at the moment i don't know where i have to find some yeah real information some I think one of the biggest, because uh, how the media, they, they report about this topic, it makes the meaning uh, for the people in the, in the society. So this is um, really Im important. And even for, I know, for now for flight, for the refugees, it is important uh, because they get all the information about the media. No, no, I mean the new media, the social media. So. If they have no uh, possibility to get this information, they don't know where's the way for the flight. Uh, yeah, media is, um, I mean, it plays a very big role because it keeps us informed of what is going on. And um, it's good to be always infor um, being informed of what is going on so you can always know what the problem the Im uh, immigrants or the refugees are facing on the street. They influence the people who migrate a lot. So they, they also create a big impact. From various interviews, we see many issues relative to subject, both positive and negative. Okay, great. Thank you for all of your answers. But now it's all about the media. We got worst and best of German and Kenyan media. It's the weekly zapping. It's the first time in 17 years that a Kenyan head of state has visited Germany. The government sees the camp as a security threat. Militarily, we can say that the attacks have gone down. But intelligence has it that there is still a lot of uh, uh, radicalization within the camps. Dunkle Gänge, überfüllt mit Menschen, die Luft ist stickig. Bilder aus einer Erstaufnahmestelle in Hamburg. Auf Malta selbst kommen derzeit kaum Flüchtlinge aus Afrika an. Der Grund, seit rund zwei Jahren werden diejenigen, die auf dem Meer gerettet werden, direkt nach Italien gebracht, nicht mehr nach Malta. News from Garissa indicate that police officers have killed two suspected Al-Shabaab terrorists in Dadaab. The Dadaab OCPD Kimelu Rafael confirmed that one police officer lost his life during the heavy exchange of gunfire with the attackers at Habei patrol. But the fight against terrorism is also high on the leader's agenda. Kenyatta is asking for more support from the European Union in Africa's bid to quell the threat of Islamic extremists in the region, especially Somalia. But other critical issues, such as corruption and human rights, are not on the leader's agenda. Mit dem Vorschlag, notfalls auf Flüchtlinge auch zu schießen, wenn sie illegal die Grenze überwinden. Alle Parteien im Bundestag, aber auch Polizisten reagierten entsetzt und nannten die Äußerung menschenverachtend, verrot und antidemokratisch. Tatsächlich hat keine andere Partei von der Flüchtlingskrise so profitiert wie die AfD. Was ich echt auch nicht mehr hören kann, sind diese ständigen Nazi-Vergleiche. In diesem Jahr haben wir gemerkt und gespürt, dass das Thema Flüchtlinge ein ganz zentrales Thema ist, das in unserer Partei, aber auch darüber hinaus viele Menschen umtreibt. Und die Idee zu sagen, wir blicken nicht auf die Flüchtlinge, sondern lassen die Flüchtlinge auf sich und auf uns blicken. Wenn es eine internationale Obligation ist, es wäre illegal. Because the same Kenya government wants to deal with the international community. They want support, they want trade, they want business. And at the same time, they think that uh, refugees are, 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 uh, are not even human beings. This is totally illegal. 
fine. But now I'm happy to present you our special guest, Dexter Ochiano. He's the famous movie director of the newest movie, Impressed. Dexter, I'm happy to have you here. Everything too, and I'm happy to be here. Your movie is now published for two weeks and very successful. What is it about? It is a story of a young man who met a couple of refugees along the street. The refugees asked him for the way and he actually gave them the way. But uh, during the day, he saw a couple of ad advertisements on a campaign against the refugees all over the place. And in the evening, met another group of refugees but refused to show them the way. This was as an influence of the media. Oh, well, okay. What was your intention to do this movie? My intention in doing this movie was to bring people up to speed with media responsibility and how media can be used to change people's perspective negatively or positively. Dexter, it was nice to have you here. I wish you a great evening. I appreciate it and thank you for hosting me. Unfortunately, our time is running out. Now it's on you. Just to keep your eyes open, I see you next week on your favorite show, Your Poor Gutler. Today is 92 degrees Fahrenheit on Kingston City Streets.